to actually dis, uh, survive all of this. And maybe that's what's going to happen, that there will be major destruction on this planet. It might even be unleashed to some extent by some of the governments just to kill off all the illogical, insane third world. And it can be repopulated and recleaned up then at a later time when there's a much smaller, more sane uh, group of people left. Well, whatever uh, the case may be, uh, here we are at historical times. We're on the very eve of destruction, as someone once said before. It's 92. Events easily will start happening uh, very soon. Uh, we can probably certainly look forward to the earthquakes and volcanoes, which are already happening all over the planet, to begin to pick up and get stronger and stronger. So watch out for these red-skinned people in Peru that come forward, which are a signal of the beginning of bad times. And keep your eye on Mount Vesuvius for an eruption, because that will surely begin the beginning of World War III. Interesting also in the uh, predictions, which were back in 76, uh, there was some prophecy about Russia invading into Turkey and taking that over. Uh, Russia, as we know now, doesn't exist. It's more or less been disbanded. Of course, the KGB is still uh, in existence, so something may actually happen there yet. But it talks in there about Russia uh, being part of the major World War scenario and actually taking action against some countries. But uh, it looks as though Russia's kind of broken up and uh, is having enough internal problems of its own. So it's quite possible that since that uh, time period when those prophecies were made, that there could have been some intervention on behalf of ETs or free will of man or whatever, and maybe events are changing a little bit. I would tend to think that events are speeding up. It may not be as bad as originally thought. I think consciousness surely is rising around the world. We can look here to the recent elections in America and get some hope there. For years, people have not paid much of any attention to their politics. We become a lazy country more and more just wanting our country to do something for us, living our own little lives and not pitching in and taking any part in what's going on. And now we've seen a major part of the country starting to get uh, more and more active in the politics. Because of Ross Perot, if nothing else, he's rallied people everywhere to start becoming more responsible and paying attention to our problems. And now as I'm making this tape, which is in November of 92, uh, we're looking forward to having the administration of Bill Clinton, uh, which, by the way, he's not mentioned at all in the prophecies. I see no name about that anywhere. So it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen with the momentum of people caring about government just a little bit now and getting a fresher, younger man into office with some new ideas to go confront Congress with. We have a very difficult economy, so perhaps the future of the world is going to start changing a little bit for the better. If we as Americans can start taking our responsibility of leadership a little better, taking a little better part in how we actually affect other countries, instead of leaving it up to the CIA to either kill the leaders or take them over uh, through deadly means, perhaps we can actually become, start becoming an inspiration to other countries around the world uh, through our leadership, through our wisdom, and role modeling as being citizens of the 21st century. Well, there's one other little set of uh, transmissions here from the Batali level that uh, came in in 1981, about 4 in the morning. And um, then there's one other set after that on the 19th of November, 1981, uh, in the afternoon, about 5.30 in the afternoon. And this was information all surrounding the uh, Third World War and the events that would happen there. We talked earlier about uh, that the Antichrist would actually come, that the 27 years of war as prophesied was at the moment probably going to go down uh, just pretty much the way it had always intended because nothing was being done to change mass consciousness. Although that was prophesied in 76, and again it's a prophecy that can be changed because of free will. I tend to think that we've actually done uh, quite a bit of groundwork in changing that. And even though there probably will be a war, it may not be near as bad as we think. But at any rate, uh, since the purpose of these tapes is to at least inform you about the Billy Meyer material, let me follow through with that and at least go through these prophecies about the Third World War, and you can read them. And then as things are nearly as bad as they turn out to be, uh, we can see you know, how things actually got better when all this is over. 
It, of course, talks about uh, the uh, war starting, and it starts off by saying that Europe actually just sinks in ashes and embers, that there's so much bloodshed. There are millions of deaths raging, people are screaming, and so forth. The third world fire, it says, is conjured up by the hands of humans through religious sex, greed, hate, and power. Well, we've got plenty of that going on the planet, so that won't be too hard to understand. It talks about people, uh, it goes on to say the Third World War is caused because people don't seek the truth. And there's a little bit of lesson here for us about uh, not leading a very spiritual life, but uh, spending mostly a life of material gains, greed, and power. It says Europe will be the central point for all that's going to happen and what's going to happen here. Germany, where life still flowers, there will be a hundred atomic suns will glow and destroy everything in a roaring fire. Most of Germany apparently is just wiped out. The world powerful manage irresponsibly. The Europeans see the world fire. Um, the atomic fire is going to burn pretty much everything there. There's a lot of talk about all this fire. It says the powerful people crawl into secure bunkers and hide out, uh, while the rest of us have to stay up on the ground without any protection and are killed. Uh, that's, it says, thus the powerful survive in the bunker shrines. Uh, they, the great of the world, play poker for power, and each of them hides, says, while they're laughing, and while they toss their deadly fire on peace-seeking Europe as pay. So Europe is really going to catch it here. It talks about the atomic death in Europe, where chemical and bacteria bombs fall. Radioactive radiation destroys much of the life. Under waves of neutrons, the countries will quake. It says it sp uh, spreads a slow death torturously, which lasts for days, months, and years. Apparently, people, there's so many new diseases caused because of the chemical bombs that uh, people die a very slow, painful death. Um, let's see, it says Thursday, November 19th, 1981, at 5.45 p.m., it uh, goes on talking more about the war. It says, people will be driven unmercifully into horrible deaths, uh, just as it was predicted 2,000 years ago. The cause, of course, again, is going to be politics, religion, and other insanities, which include greed and power. All those things we're so um, very aware of. It says, the, war, the world war will break out in Europe, and every day of no war is precious. It says, the, short is, uh, the times of peace are very short because the world fire spreads extensively and very quickly and is going to start destroying everything unmercifully. Uh, it says, Europe, the center of the power for competition, will be devoured by the powerful of the world who have chosen this area for the battle uh, so that their own land will remain intact. So let's, let's think about that a second. It says that the, the war is going to be caused center stage and so forth in Europe uh, by very powerful people of the world who chose this area for the battle. So someone outside of Europe is actually kind of setting the war up and making sure that it happens there. Well, that could be, uh, who else could cause that? Us, Arab nations, China, something like that. So um, it says the powerful beat their war axe on Europe's head, and while Europe spoils in the fire, the power-hungry thirst for more power Therefore, other parts of Mother Earth will be subjected to their power and greed. So it's time to go to war. On Friday, November 20th, 1981, another transmission comes through, which starts to talk even more about it. And it gets into the anti-Logos thing, the Antichrist, where he's sweeping over the whole world, Christian and non-Christian countries as well, it says fall to their death. Then, um, let me kind of move along here to some of the better stuff. Um, here again, it reiterates that 25 million people will be led to death alone.